Howdy folks, welcome to Code of the Vest Survival. What we got here? Look at this. It is Ontario. Rescue tool. First, it was introduced in 1996, and actually these tools were used in Ground Zero and during Katrina as well. Firefighters, first responders, they were using these tools, and the military was issuing those at some point, and some units still getting those issued. It can be used as an axe, it has a sharp blade, it has a spike, so it can break windshield, break doors, locks, this a hole, it's to open water valves, hydrants, or gas valves, it has a craton handle, here you can put paracord, Let's look, Ontario, and this one, it's SP-16. Steel is 1095 carbon steel, so this edge can be very, very sharp if you want to. I like to take this for camping. Uh, typically, I don't baton with knives. Chop or baton, I don't do that. I'm using axe or something like this. Let's see how heavy it is, though. Let's look. All right, let's see. It is... 1.89, 1.89, yes, it's a little bit heavier, with the sheath would be, let's see how heavy it is with the sheath. One point fifteen five. One point fifteen five. all right. Let's see how thick is that blade. Okay. Okay. It is six millimeters, basically. Six millimeters on the top, and here is four and a half. Four and a half millimeters. Okay. Four and a half millimeters. So overall, it's a very useful tool. Very useful tool. Very good for camping. Um, I used probably two or three of those over the years, and I just love it. It's a very handy tool. Uh, can be used in a lot of different situations. I'm using for wood chopping. This one is new one. I didn't want to use old one for a reviewing, but this one is new one. Uh, has a molly attachments. So can be placed around your leg if you want to. On a belt, can be placed on the vest. So it has a lot of options, carry options. We're going to test that in the field. We'll see what it can do. We're going to chop some wood forming and 
we're gonna post part two so yes guys uh, stay tuned in thanks for watching